exercise 41, question number one. So these more complicated formulae to rearrange. Um, so this one we need to arrange for A. So the first thing that goes into my mind when I see A appearing twice is that at some point I'm going to factorise. So I could actually factorise straight away and take the A squared outside a bracket on the right hand side. So it's again all the way through. If you think you can carry on from where I am, pause and carry on. So if I factorise, I get A squared into N minus N all over X. I could have multiplied both sides by X first and then factorised, but you would get the same place. Now I multiply both sides by x, so y x equals a squared m minus n. And finally, I'm going to divide both sides by the, the term in the brackets to get a squared on its own, and then square root to get the answer in the text. Um, there's an extension question on this one. You could try uh, rearranging this formula for m. So take the original equation, y equals a squared m minus a squared n over x. And rearrange that equation for m. Um, I'll put in the solution below when you've had a go at it. So your final answer when you've had a go at this will be there. M should equal yx over a squared plus n.